G'day. By now, I'm sure you've all seen the Model 3 crashing into a truck in Taiwan. This one. What I want to talk about today is why I think that actually happened. Tesla Tom recently did a video explaining the situation around the accident and probably a lot of very good points. One point I've noticed a lot of people are glossing over is radar and its limitations. Now, as we know, Tesla Model 3, this one here, and also almost every other car out there that has smart cruise control or traffic wear cruise control relies on the one thing that could have been the cause of this accident, radar. Now, I'm sure most people out there probably know how radar works. You send a radio signal out ahead of the car, it bounces off an object, and the return that the car receives dictates the distance and the speed and the direction of the object the radar is bouncing off. That's how it works. Tesla and most other cars in aircraft shipping, air traffic control, everything uses radar, developed in the 1940s. Now, as you saw from this video, see the truck is on its side with the top of the truck towards the vehicle. Now, as you see the car approaching, obviously the driver's not paying attention, otherwise he would have seen it with the visual light hitting his eyes and taking evasive action. He obviously didn't. So now he's relying on the car's either autopilot system or emergency braking system to do this work for him. Unfortunately, I don't believe the autopilot uses radar. The autopilot system uses the visual light received by its many cameras around the vehicle to determine lane position, lane tracking, etc. But the distance to other vehicles ahead of it and around it are determined by the use of radar. Now, as I've seen this video, we'll notice that the truck is on its on its side. The top of the truck is, is towards oncoming traffic the Tesla's approaching. The radar beam has been fired out ahead, hits the truck, and this is where things get interesting. The top of the truck is usually made out of either a fiberglass or a canvas type material. Most likely it looks in this case, the, by the way it's torn at the impact site, it looks like fiberglass, not cloth. Now, think about fiberglass and plastics well, actually, fiberglass is actually technically called FRP, Fiber Reinforced Plastics. And as you know from the Tesla up there, that the radar is behind the bumper bar, made of plastic, as it is in most cars. So, plastics and fiberglass are transparent to radar. Radar does not see them. It goes straight through, bounces straight back. That's why aircraft have fiberglass nose cones and big radar domes and dishes behind those fiberglass cones. The radar beam goes out, comes back through the fiberglass. So, the top of that truck is fiberglass. Also, the truck is not perpendicular across the road, if you notice. It's sort of a 45 degree angle. What's one thing you notice about stealth aircraft these days? Especially the F-117 fighter, stealth fighter. There's a lot of flat angles pointed all sorts of strange directions. The purpose of that is to deflect radar. Now, once the radar has hit the aircraft from a ground base station or another aircraft, the radar beam is then deflected at an angle away from the receiver, hence making it invisible to radar. Now this truck is on a slight angle. The only part in that truck I'd imagine being reflective to radar would be the cabin and the structure of the base of the trailer and the truck itself. Or the floor, you know, the deck, the cargo deck of the truck itself. If that is a slight angle, the radar beam from the Tesla is going to go through the fiberglass, bounce off of the metal in the base of that truck and bounce back out at an angle where the car will not receive it. Now, this is a purely speculation. I've watched the video a few times now through Tesla's, um, Tesla Tom's video and a few other sites. And I noticed that once the car gets to a certain point, the car does initiate what looks like to be emergency braking. If that or the driver, either one, we don't know yet until we get the data. But it would appear that the vehicle has initiated emergency braking by heavily braking, causing the wheels to lock up. And yes, a lot of people have complained that the brakes did not lock up all the way, therefore the braking was released. No, it wasn't. That's how ABS works. The brakes lock up. The car detects the brakes locking up and releases brake pressure, allowing the wheels to turn to brake more efficiently. That's how ABS does its thing. That's how you stop faster than locking up. So obviously the brakes have locked up. The computer system, or the ABS system, has released the brake pressure and initiated maximum braking. And what I think has happened is the car's travelling down the freeway on autopilot or whatever. The radar beam's firing out ahead of the vehicle. It's hit the truck and been deflected off. Not back to the vehicle. It's just unfortunate positioning of the truck and, the, and you know, all those angles and stuff like that. Therefore, the car doesn't know there's a truck in front of it. The visual light cameras are using it to maintain lane tracking and everything else. They're doing their job perfectly fine. Now, I don't know if the braking was initiated by the visual light hitting the cameras and the car visually seeing the truck that far ahead of it, or it's got to the point now where the radar return has become sufficient enough for the car to pick that up. Now, 
once the car picks up the radar return, it immediately determines the position and the speed of that object. It's through Doppler effect. If the car is moving away from the radar that's being transmitted, the Doppler shift will become a lower frequency and therefore the vehicle can determine the, the distance away and how fast the vehicle is going. That's how the car tracks the car in front. It can use that Doppler shift in the radar return signature to determine the speed and direction of the vehicle in front of it, whether it's slowing down, speeding up, or whatever. Now, the truck's obviously not going anywhere, so that radar reflected signal has hit the car. The car's picked it up, realised the vehicle in front of it is stationary, so it is quickly determined that at the speed the vehicle is travelling at, the stationary object in front of it, it's time to initiate emergency braking pretty much immediately, in which case it looks like the car has done so. Unfortunately, due to the fiberglass on the, on the truck, the lack of a strong radar return signal, the car is past the point of no return to be able to stop, you know, to be able to physically stop before impacting the vehicle. Though, looking at these still pictures, it doesn't look like the truck actually hit the deck of the truck. It's gone through the top of the, the trailer, obviously, in the fiberglass components and the structure holding the fiberglass up. But the airbags have not deployed, to me, indicating that the vehicle has not hit anything really solid in there, other than probably what was in the truck itself, whatever cargo the truck was carrying, whatever that is, or it hasn't hit the deck, which means the car has maybe seen the deck of the vehicle through the fiberglass and assumed that was where the truck was and modulated the braking to stop there, which unfortunately was past the point of the roof of the truck. But the airbags did not fire. Again, this has been commented on numerous times on the internet as another failure of Tesla. No, it is not. Airbag systems work by measuring the impact, measuring where the impact is and determining which airbags are required to fire to safely protect the passenger. It knows where you are in the car, it knows there's probably only a driver or a passenger or whatever. Therefore, it will only fire those um, airbags required to save that person. And such as a side impact won't trick off a steering wheel airbag and vice versa. So if A, the vehicle has not hit not hit I mean, <coughs> has not hit the trailer hard enough to trigger an airbag deployment, or the car is determined at the point of the accident that an airbag is not required to keep the passenger safe. Maybe the truck hit the support beam of the roof of the trailer. Therefore, impact was on the passenger side, not the driver's side. Until we see pictures of the car actually pulled out of the trailer, we probably won't know. But, the doors are closed, there's no one in the car, the person survived. So obviously the car made the right decision at that time. The person's obviously out of the vehicle and helping other people avoid the, avoid the accident scene. Which is great. So, I don't see this as a failure of Tesla as a lot of people are, pay, are painting it to be. It is just the basic laws of physics and radar and how they work. The car's in an um, oblique angle to the road using a fiberglass transparent to radar covering. And the radar probably that has hit it has been deflected off at an angle that the car cannot pick up. Any car with emergency braking and radar cruise control probably would have suffered exactly the same fate as the laws of physics don't change between cars. Simple as that. So, that's all things happening with that accident. So not really a rant, just a sort of a video explaining what I think has happened with a Model 3 accident in Taiwan hitting that truck. So that's my theory behind that, that accident. Basically just an unfortunate series of coincidences and the, um, the limitations of radar cruise control, which as I said earlier, would have been affected in any vehicle, whether it be Toyota, Nissan, who knows. Whoever uses radar cruise control probably would have had the same accident. So yeah, and somebody else pointed out too, there was a third model, another Model 3 in that video that stopped before the truck. Well obviously by now there's a Model 3 embedded in the roof of the truck. It's a metal object, big white, area at the back of the vehicle there, which is probably quite good at reflecting radar back at the other oncoming vehicles, so they obviously stopped safely before hitting the accident site. So, there's that. So, um, once again, we've got this far. And if you disagree or you, you know, come think of any other points, well then, let me know in the comments below, and then that's an interesting topic, this radar thing. Very cool. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care, and drive safe, and be safe, and take care of yourselves. Bye. One take, woohoo, yay! G'day. By now, I sure I'm sh. G'day. <laughs> okay, start again.